Hey, Kevin, coming back after how long you're away from the MLB club, what's it mean to you to put together a game like that uh, in a game of this magnitude? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it means everything to answer your question. I mean, those uh, two months or whatever it was, when not being able to contribute and, and just being around the excitement but not being fully a part of it, um, you know, it, it you know felt like a little bit of uh, FOMO. So, um, so definitely, I mean, that's what I was – you know, coming here ready to do is just contribute any way possible and you know I, whether that's you know getting on and you know trying to trying to take an extra base like I did late in that game right there just whatever I gotta do to help this team win um, you know that's why I'm here. And you had been part of everything else up until this last little bit when you missed some time does that make it a bit sweeter to get back and now and what was that experience like for you waiting a, a bit to get here? Yeah I mean you know even though I was, you know, I was here for a good bit of it, especially these home games and yeah. um, on the IL and stuff, um, it, it's still uh, – you still feel a little left out just because you're not on the field with the guys. You're not experiencing that energy with the crowd and everything like that. And, uh, you know, it, it's just very special to just, just get back in general, be in the field and uh, be in front of those fans. It's just um, – you know, I, wanna, I don't want to get emotional or anything, but it, it, was, uh, it was pretty special. I appreciate it, Kevin. Thanks. Go ahead, Shay. Hey, Kevin. Uh, of all the work that you put in during the rehab in Buffalo and you know here where before you were activated, what came to fruition that allowed you to have success on the field? Like, what did what did you do that made you um, that reinforced or rewarded you for the work that you put in? Yeah, I mean, you know, from a baseball aspect of things, uh, a little bit of everything, I guess you could say, just getting, you know, getting back to playing in general. Um, but, I mean, I think, um, I mean, the biggest thing, I, and I've said this a couple of times since I've been here, is, um, you know, a lot of credit to that team down there in AAA, and especially manager Casey Candell and, and those guys there. I, it, it just allowed me to to feel a part of that team, and, and you know, winning there is, is the most important thing in that locker room, and it gave me an aspect of, of that energy, even though there was really no one in the stands and, and, and whatnot. And, um, you know, that dugout and that uh, clubhouse was, uh, you know, it was getting me ready to to be in these big time games. And, uh, you know, I, I just can't thank those guys enough. I can't thank Casey enough. And, uh, um, you know, I'm just glad to be here uh, overall. And as you're figuring out the waiting out with the situation here with the standings and all the scenarios, day to day, what's your mindset like? How are you managing the ups and downs and the, the waiting for the other teams to, to uh, finish their games? Yeah, I think it's, it just comes down to controlling what you can control. I mean, you know, we, we got to take care of business um, tomorrow and Sunday uh, to give us a shot to, to get the wild card. And that's what we're going to worry about. Um, you know, we're not going to worry about, um, you know, these games, what other teams are doing during the game. We, we got to go out, do our work, get ready for each game and, uh, you know, finish out strong and, um, you know, just hope that uh, we can get in there. All right. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ben. Hey, Kevin. Uh, sometimes hitters talk about timing and how that can take a little bit of time to return. I'm just wondering, is that the same for base running? Like, does, does that, after time on the injured list, because you seem pretty comfortable out there tonight and, and pretty aggressive on the bases. Um, so does it take time to return, or is that pretty instantaneous? Um, it takes a little bit, but uh, a lot faster than it does hitting and fielding and whatnot. Um, yeah, I mean, I, um, just being ready to go as soon as the ball is in the hitting zone and, and being able to react um, as fast as possible is the biggest thing. Um, you know, that infield single that George – hit I I felt like I got a pretty good jump off of uh off my secondary and you know I got to third pretty quick and you know I I, I peaked at home plate and didn't see Severino there and and Vileka was deep in right field so you know I thought why not so uh so yeah just uh little things like that taking advantage of of you know any possibility to to steal a run right there and uh yeah overall you know timing is feeling good at the plate and, and on base pass nice. thank you mm -hmm. go ahead Mike Hey, Kevin, uh, it, it feels like Steven Matz is almost a different pitcher now than when you were last here. What did you see from him today? I saw a lot of confidence from him. Uh, he's got nasty stuff, and, it, and it's been there all year. Um, but, you know, I, I just felt like he was attacking each hitter from pitch one with tons of confidence, and he was, um, you know, he was very good. He was on point today, and that's exactly what we needed out of him, um, which was really big for us. And as far as you and, and uh, 
Santiago and Danny, the bottom of the order was huge in the beginning of the game tonight. When this team, um, when the guys at the bottom get on base, this team becomes extra dangerous, even though they didn't really get a lot from the top tonight. But, but to, what's your view of that 7 eight, 9 and what it can contribute? Yeah, definitely. I mean, those the, our top of our lineup has been incredible all year. And, you know, I, I think what makes our lineup even special, even more special is, is you know, top to bottom, we can hurt you in a lot of different ways. And, you know, I think that um, that it showed tonight where, you know, maybe, you know, they get through the, those that top of the order who's really dangerous and, you know, maybe they, you know, exhaled a little bit and now they got to face, you know, the bottom three guys who are also pretty dangerous. So uh, top to bottom, we compete and we get on base and, you know, it, it's, a, it's a lot of fun and, and exciting when everybody contributes. Thanks. Go ahead, Kaylin. Hey, Kevin. Um, obviously, in the eighth inning, things got a little close, and then Jordan came in and got the five-out save for you. Just what did you think of his performance tonight and generally how big he's been for you this, this year? Yeah, Jordan is, you know, I've played with him for a long time, and he is the ultimate competitor, especially on the mound. Uh, you know, um, he gets in his groove, and he gets into his rhythm, and, you know, uh, he he is going to – do whatever it takes to to win the game and, and to get whoever out and um, not a lot of people have that and and, and I think it, he he uses that to his advantage and he's got that edge so it's always exciting to uh, to be not only be behind him fielding but also be around him in the clubhouse every single day and, and just watch him prepare for each each and every night. Great, thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks everyone. We'll be back.